Hello and welcome back to Cracker Creations. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Uh, if you have subscribed, thank you very much. And uh, welcome back here. Today's video, we're going to take a look at some of the updates we have in the Magic Kingdom Park in Lego. Um, we've got a couple things going on. We've got a couple new buildings up at the uh, near the partner statue. Um, rounding off a of main street up there. We've got some retro work that we're going to be doing in the park. Um, so some of you guys will remember this and some of you guys won't. If you're old like myself, um, you, uh, these are some of the old um, things that were in the park that I'm going to add to the park as we go. I can take them down and bring them back, uh, you know, at times. But I want to show you guys some of these builds. I think they're kind of neat. And then I've also got the um, some of the cloud work, you see that, um, up uh, in the back, uh, at the back of the park there. And um, again, I'm going to get that all the way around uh, eventually when I get that room built over on the side there and get that wall up. But right now, I like what the, uh, the cloud looks really good back there. I think it's doing real well. So let's get into it today. Um, I know I've got a lot of pro uh, little projects going on. I've got a lot of things i got to finish up. Um, one of those is the contemporary. I know I keep talking about getting those rooms in there, but I want to get some of the, uh, the lobby area down below there. i got to get some lights in there, too, uh, to get that lit up a, a, a lot. Um, so that is obviously, I'm still going to be working on that. Really, I just kind of, I know I've been jumping around, but I really uh, get these ideas and I, you know, I want to get them completed, some of them, and um, it just, uh, you know, I get jumping around at different things. So let's take a look first. Uh, we're going to go down to Main Street here. I did take the 100 year um, off of the front there because uh, they did down at the park, so I did. Um, I did keep that. I'll bring that out from time to time. I think it's kind of a cool uh, build as well. But as we look down Main Street here, as you can see, uh, you guys that haven't been with us before, this is uh, Main Street USA. And um, and we look down to the left and to the right there, we see those two, the backs of those two buildings. We're going to take a look at those as we get into that porthole over there so we can get a, a viewing of, the, of that area in a little bit here. Um, what are some other things real quick that we're uh, working on? Um, obviously, Adventureland over there as well. That's still a little bit of a mess. I do have um, the um, passageway for the train going uh, under Tiana's Bayou Adventure there. I'll get a closer look at that when I get in there as well. I have had the train going. Um, I will tell you that I had one train uh, bite it right off of the end here. Um, so that one, I'm lucky I've got about three of them. Um, and um, so I've got this train sitting here. I haven't, um, I've got some people, uh, some minifigures in there, uh, but uh, I have not run that yet. I've got to decrease some of the incline in the back a little bit. Or extend that out a little bit so it's less at uh, you know less at one time uh, and then um, I've also got to got to get rid of some of these turns here especially that one right there because that's where it, it bit it it came down underneath Tron there and just tore off onto the ground there and it's in a, in a bunch of pieces so um, plus I also lifted Tron there um, I don't know if that was completed in the last video. Uh, it's still not completed. I've got to work around that, get it built up and that. But I had to get that train coming through. And it actually does go under Tron. So it kind of works out pretty good um, as we um, get into that. So um, we're going to get around right now into that porthole so we can take a look at the uh, new buildings that we have um, in that area. All right, and this, I did use the Utilidor to get over here. Obviously, the, the park comes complete with the Utilidors as well. So, again, as we come down Main Street here from the uh, train station, if we come off by Casey's Corner here, we have this build right here. That's a fun hole build. Um, it's a really cool build. Um, neat detail in that. The color uh, matches that of the uh, Casey's Corner that I have going on right here, and I think it just fit perfectly there. Um, between that and uh, between Casey's Corner and um, the Crystal Palace. So that's a real neat build. I've got it hooked up as well for lighting. Um, I'm probably not going to do a lighting uh, on this video, but I will be doing a lighting video update soon here. Um, I just think it broadens this area um, because I did increase this area here. And right now I've got a little bit of a, 
uh, parade going on right there, but I increased that for that very purpose is to get more um, minifigures and parade items and things of that in here. And then I also, if you guys didn't notice, I extended this uh, area here right in front of the castle. There's a lot more space there, which is when I do put the lights on, it leaves a little bit to, to me some darkness right here, even though I have the light post um, lit up in that. I am going to probably at some point replace these uh, spotlights here that are kind of just for, for show right now on both sides. I'm going to probably replace those with real spotlights to get some light there. So um, that's in the future there a little bit as well. But uh, that's kind of what we're looking at here. If we come off to the other side there, uh, I, did, I do think I spotlighted this before in another video, but I have that building over there as well. And that kind of rounds that off as you come down Main Street. So if I take a broad view here, you can kind of see how it balances from side to side too. And I'm kind of big into that too. I wanted to make sure that that kind of balanced side to side um, and I think it uh, turned out really well. So they're a little taller buildings than that, but they both match each other kind of. So that worked out real well. Um, as we look over, let's take a look at that uh, bridge or that tunnel. I'm going to reach over here and show you. There's the tunnel. I've still got to build a little bit on top of it there, but the train fits through there and that turned out really good. Um, and so got to get a lot of some base plates down over there as well and really just get that whole other side there. Um, this really is that walkthrough between Frontierland and Adventureland as we get into um, Adventureland from Frontier there. So and still got a lot of, a lot of tiling to do and, and lighting back here. But as we look around. Um, I think before we had talked about how uh, we have Thriller Magic back here, but the retro uh, look that I um, that I started uh, in the park right now was the old Skyway, okay? And if you guys are old like me, you remember that. There's one of the towers there. There's another one right there. And then I've got a tower right there. And you can't see the line so much. I guess you... You can't against the, the backdrop over there. I don't have the, the clouds up. But I'm going to be putting the um, the um, the ride vehicles on there as well, the buckets. Okay, and I'll be putting those on there in a second there. So we'll get to that in just a minute here. But I wanted to uh, <clears throat> further uh, show you guys this build here. It's a neat build. It's a pretty cool uh, uh, kit that comes with lights and all that kind of good stuff. So uh, that's... Uh, uh, you know, a great addition, I think, to the park. Um, and I think it just looks really good, and especially at nighttime. And like I said, I'll be uh, doing a video on the nighttime uh, lighting uh, <clears throat> in a little bit as well. So let me now, I'm going to set up those buckets for the Skyway, and then we will get you guys some views. I will get some views outside of this area here, and then I'll come back in the porthole and get you guys some views from here. All right, here we are. I've got those the buckets on there. And if you guys aren't familiar with the Skyway, it was back uh, early on in the park in the 70s and early 80s there. Um, they came from um, the... Uh, from Tomorrowland, it went all the way up through into Fantasyland, and there were some docking areas. So if you guys recall, right next to... Um, uh, Small World, if you're, if you're looking at Small World, facing it, to the left, there was like a building that was kind of uh, empty. It was uh, like a, like a cottage-looking brown structured wood building. That was where the bucket, that's where you got on. And I remember as a child being in front of uh, Small World and then looking up at those buckets going above us. And it was just, uh, like I said, it's a retro look. Um, and they I tried to make the um, towers look just like them. I use, what I used some, some, some tire, um, some tires, um, the, the wheels of the tires, the um, spokes of the tires. And I, I tried to make and mimic what it looked like, uh, what those towers look like, even to, with the ladders and that. So as we come up to the other one here, to turn that one, I had to put it on some of the round um, spin dial ones. So I have two of them, the two round, the big round um, uh, pieces that spin. I put two of them down and then I hooked it onto it. And what I do then 
is I've got it hooked to that the green base plate because there was like grass and, and uh, flowers and things around it. And then I've kind of got it wedged so it doesn't tilt over with those pieces down at the bottom. And I did the same thing down at the bottom of this one too. So I've got it so it doesn't, you know, go side to side, it doesn't knock over. But it also is what the decor looked like um, when they had them installed at, the, at Disney World. And here is one of the buckets there. I've got somebody in there. And I was pretty excited about the buckets. They look pretty, pretty uh, spot on there. I'm kind of excited about that. And then I made it connect there to the to the uh, the cord, the uh, the wire that it runs on. And then we go down. And I've got that yellow one too there. Now I'm waiting on a couple more tops. Um, I ordered some tops um, off I think off of eBay. Somebody had like five of them. And um, so I've got um, I'm gonna have two yellow, a red, and a blue. So I have four. Uh, that I'm going to make. I don't know if I'm going to do more than four because there is some weight that it applies on there. So I really have to balance it out uh, with the weight there. Um, and I've still got to finish connecting it down here at uh, and put it like a little station down here in Tomorrowland. Let me go back up around. I'll show you some different angles of it here. This is it from behind. And you can kind of see where it's coming down. And it came right over this area here, obviously Filler Magic wasn't there, but the buildings were there. I'm pretty sure that was Mr. Toad's Wild Ride at the time. Um, I've got to get uh, Filler Magic done here, but uh, that's that's one of those one of these little uh, projects that I got going on, and I kind of stopped all the other projects because I wanted to get this done. It took me a, about uh, two or three days here to get this going. I just uh, the nostalgia, I was looking on uh, some different feeds in that, and um, so I thought I'd pull those in. They were neat. Um, they kind of remind you of the Skyliner now. Uh, so, And then it would come down uh, near uh, right next, right before you got to, and I'm going to put this back here, the Rapunzel's Bathrooms, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, now it's Rapunzel's Bathrooms um, as you go uh, to the Haunted Mansion from Fantasyland there. Uh, but right before you get to those, I think it's a stroller, stroller parking right now. But I think they finally took that, uh, the building down, but it looked kind of similar to what I got going on here. An old building that, uh, that's where you would uh, board and then go up on it and then it would take you down. So I kind of added that. I'm going to have that up for a while. I won't leave it up uh, for, you know, all the time, but I thought, you know, it's a nice retro look. I, that's what I'm going to try to do is pull in some of the old stuff. Um, I think people like that. Um, I still have the top to Splash Mountain if I need to. Now, it is going to be harder to go back to Splash Mountain from Tana's Bayou Adventure. The, the greenery, which I still have to work on a little bit of that greenery, but there's so much to that over there that it's uh, going to be hard to uh, go back and forth. But every once in a while, like I said, I like the just uh, some of the nostalgic things and that, you know, that's that's all that's what Disney's about as well. So now let me get back into this, uh, uh, the uh, porthole here, and I will give you the view of that uh, skyway from that area. All right. And here we are back in this porthole over here. It gets us in the middle of the park and you can kind of see, like I said, here's the skyway coming from Fantasyland, and as it goes down over the uh, speedway into Tomorrowland there. And again, once I get that wall up over there, hopefully uh, soon, uh, I don't know how soon, but hopefully we get that up and uh, I can get the clouds over there so we get a better backdrop to uh, looking from this direction here. But there is the, let me zoom in a little bit here on those got somebody in there and then as we follow that right there and there's the other one there and like i said i am going to be getting a few more um just waiting to uh get some of the pieces like i said in the mail there so that's uh that's pretty much the update for right now um oh don't forget the PhotoPass uh, program. I'm still doing the PhotoPass program. If you guys are interested in seeing your minifigs in the park, send me a picture 
or uh, tell me where you'd like um, a picture of your minifigs, send them to me. I'll put the information at the end of this video here. Um, the only thing I ask is that I can, I'm going to keep the minifigs in the park to help populate the park. And I will send you guys um, uh, photos from at least two places. I, I promise you two places. I generally will throw a couple more in there. But if you want me to recreate a picture or something like that, I will welcome, I, I will do that. Um, or you can just uh, say, you know, hey, I want something in front of uh, Aladdin's carpet ride. And I'll put you down there with those guys, take a nice photo of it and uh, send that to me so you'll send an email address. I'll put the information on here, what to do. It's pretty simple. There's a PO box, you send it, and um, I, I'll email them back to you or DM, send them on, on Instagram or, or a TikTok or something like that, whatever you want me to, uh, how, how, how to get it to you. So anyway, um, that's the update for now. And uh, until next time, guys, we will see you soon. Bye-bye um, now.